I know with these reviews, sometimes I have a tendency to start off with, oh, this is gonna be a really different one. And sometimes it is, sometimes it may not necessarily be that different. This one actually kind of is for me, not in terms of the style, but for where it comes from. This is, uh, and I'm gonna botch the pronunciation, but it translates to hell and damnation in English. Hell and Verdominus from um, De Molen, so I, I, I cannot pronounce brewery in Dutch. Uh, brewery, is that close? Somebody might get me on that. Uh, brewery de Molen. Uh, they're based out of Bodegraben, the Netherlands. Uh, this bottle, I did not purchase myself. Um, those of you that know me know that I am a frequent Redditor and I sometimes participate in the Reddit gifts exchanges. Uh, the last one that they had was for Halloween, trick or treat and I got paired with someone from the Netherlands. And amongst other delicious things, such as um, a, um, like a little, um, kind of like a little bread uh, biscuit from uh, her, my match's uh, hometown, uh, and oh God, some Stroop waffle. I need more Stroop waffle, that stuff is amazing. Uh, I only have like three pieces left. But amongst those other treats, was this bottle. So I want to say thank you to Esther from Holland. Um, this is an Imperial Stout. Again, I did not expect a beer in the match. So fantastic. This is some, something I'm not gonna find here, obviously. And I did look on uh, Beer Advocate. It's very highly rated. So I'm excited to crack this one open. Uh, let's see if there's anything else of note on here. It's 10% ABV, Imperial Stout. Another interesting thing on this bottle, Apart from having a stamp as to when it was actually bottled, um, they have a best before date on it too. So bottled on June 24th, 2015, and it is best before June 24th, 2040. So if you're gonna sell her this particular beer, um, let me see, let me do my math here. 25 years is probably the max for you. I don't know how necessarily they calculate that, but that's that's uh, what they did on this bottle. Ah, there we go. Ooh, that is a nice smelling Imperial Stout right there. I haven't had. I actually have not had an Imperial Stout in a while that I can recall. Um, typically, these days, typically I only seem to do them for uh, reviews. Okay. Um, nice. Nice amount of head on there, um, about what I would expect. Nice bit of carbonation, nice dark, dark coloration. Very nice, chocolatey, roasty kind of aroma that you would expect from an Imperial Stout. Oh, damn. Not too boozy, particularly for a 10%er. I'm very, very pleased with that. Um, Wow, just it, it, picking up a lot of, um, just a lot of the roasty notes. And I'm, I'm trying to think of comparing it to other Imperial Stouts that I've had, but I mean, it it compares well with stuff like um, Stone's uh, IRS. Uh, to me, it compares well with, say, you know, Goose Island BCS, Founders KBS. Um, this is a amazingly solid Imperial Stout. And to think that it traveled across the ocean to get to me. <laughs> Damn, I wish I was better at picking out individual flavors. Um, I am getting some like kind of um, caramelly and little bit of like the bready notes. Not not strong, but it's there. One more sip for this. Oh, very good. Like I said before though, it's not too boozy, which is kind of, it seems to be hard to pull off in an Imperial Stout. And at 10%, you would expect some kind of real burn going down your throat. But the best way I can describe it is you can taste the alcohol kind of in the background, but you're not necessarily feeling it. 
uh, if that makes sense. You're not feeling that burn down your throat, but it's hitting your taste buds just right to blend with everything else. So that is damn, damn good. So again, Hell and Verdominus, Hell and Damnation, from Brewery de Molen out of the Netherlands, Bodegraven in the Netherlands. Um, 10% ABV, Imperial Stout. I want to thank Esther again for sending me this. Fantastic. Did not expect to get a beer in a Reddit gifts exchange, especially internationally. So thank you, thank you, thank you. And with that, I will see you guys for the next review.